You get mommy's doctor. We get mommy's doctor. So we're gonna talk about the mommy get in for surgery. But the uh, incisions, you know, the little yeah. bitty incisions, they right. raise less when you don't do oh, it. Oh, okay. Um, hang on. The only concern that I had is that my bed, for the last like two weeks, I've been recovering from this like cold. Okay. And it's just like this residual dry cough. Okay. Like right in here. Okay. <clears throat> They'll so. probably be okay with that. Okay. At the end of the day, it's always going to be the anesthesiologist. Oh, okay. just you know that, and they typically call you the night before. Okay. Um. So nothing to eat for eight hours before. Okay. Nothing to drink for six hours before. Okay. You'll check in an hour before your surgery time, mm -hmm. and you'll be there an hour after it's done. And then, um, so obviously we'll clean up the ovaries, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm sure it's endometriosis, but mm -hmm. you know, whatever it is, we'll take care of it. Yeah. Or um, even just an idea like, why am I getting all these cysts? Exactly. Yeah. Well, we'll send their pathology, so mm -hmm. they'll actually look and see. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to do an ultrasound today, though. Okay. I want to know what I'm going to operate on when okay. I get in there and not be surprised. So we'll, we'll do a hysteroscopy and then we do the abdominal parts. So in your case, there will be three incisions. Okay. So they're small. They're five millimeters, mm -hmm. one inside the belly button, two of the bikini line. Perfect. And then um, we'll put gas inside your abdominal cavity, which creates a beautiful window. Yeah. And then the first thing we do is we push dye through the uterus, goes through the tubes. It's a blue dye. So okay. it lets me look at your tubes in a different way. Okay. And then, you know, if you do have the endometriosis, we use a laser to vaporize it. Okay. Okay. And then, if, you know, based on the cyst, usually what I do is I put a little incision over the where the cyst is, mm -hmm. and then we drain out whatever that stuff is. Okay. And then, usually, if it is endometriosis and it's not a normal physiologic, so it's a right. normal physiologic cyst, I'll leave it alone. Okay. But if it isn't, yeah. then what I do is I peel out the cyst wall. Okay. Because otherwise, it's just going to secrete more of the stuff it has okay. inside of it. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, apart from that, you know, you're going to, you know, take it easy. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. um, the biggest things that you can expect after surgery is you'll feel bloated for a week. Mm -hmm. And you can have shoulder pain. Yeah. So don't worry, you're not having a heart attack. Yeah. But um, it's air bubbles. Right. It, it's not like gas. If you walk, you'll dissipate it. It doesn't work that way. Okay. So, you know, I try really, really, really hard to get all the air out. Okay. But sometimes you get a feisty air bubble or two yeah. that won't come out and irritates the diaphragm. Yeah. And then that pain is referred to the shoulders. Oh, okay. Okay? So yeah. that's how that happens. Okay, so it doesn't look like this really changed much. Okay. It's like exactly the same size. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I don't know why when you flip the camera around and you tell them what's going on. <laughs> so Alex is getting her blood drawn because on Thursday she's going in for her surgery. We're here getting blood drawn and it's kind of like a pre-op appointment for our Thursday morning so lots of filming will happen on Thursday and Kinsley's just stealing the show around here. She's so cute, Ned. Uh, I feel like every Yeah, I don't have any allergies. Um, yeah, no asthma. The only thing, um, so two weeks ago I had a cold and then I just have this residual dry cough. It probably sounds like just a post nasal drip. So right, that's fine. exactly. Because you're having a laparoscopy, which has a high incidence of nausea anyway, so a couple okay. of things we're going to do, you know, we'll give you IV sulfate and we'll give you some other things to kind of mitigate the nausea. So okay. there are a couple of things we can do to help with that, okay? Sounds good. And, uh, all right, uh -huh. all right, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, sounds good, thank you. Bye. So I was wondering if I was going to have my um, check-in with the anesthesiologist either tonight or tomorrow morning. So I guess they called tonight and um, just kind of went over the couple of times when I had anesthesia before. Um, one time I was super itchy going under and I just freaked out and I just remember telling them, I'm itching, I'm itching, I can't stand it, please, I'm itching. And then I went out and it was fine. And then, but then the second time I had it done, I think they kind of knew that and they might have knocked me out a little bit more. Or I don't know how exactly it works, but um, my blood pressure was super low when I came out. Um, so it was, 
it took longer. It took a couple extra hours for my blood pressure to come up to normal. Um, I told him about my cough and my dry cough and he said it's fine. Um, it's more, I'm more nervous for the recovery because if this dry cough doesn't go away, you use your abdominal muscles to cough and that's gonna hurt. So if I'm crying to you tomorrow, you guys will understand why. Bye.